Yes. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the University of St. Joseph's 84th Commencement Ceremony. I'm Caitlin Walsh from the University's Teaching and Learning Center. To honor our graduates, please rise and remain standing during the processional, which is being performed by the Quiet City Brass Quintet. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our candidates for doctoral degrees from the School of Pharmacy and Physician Assistant Studies. Welcome our candidates for master's degrees from the School of Pharmacy and Physician Assistant Studies, the School of Interdisciplinary Health and Science, and the School of Arts, Science, Business, and Education.
Please welcome our candidates for bachelor's degrees from the School of Interdisciplinary Health and Science and the School of Arts, Science, Business and Education.
It is an honor to welcome the Golden Anniversary Class of 1969. welcome the University of St. Joseph faculty. The academic procession is led by the faculty marshals, Dr. Marjorie Lawrence, Department of Nutrition and Public Health, and Dr. Janet Connect, Department of Nursing. And I would like to welcome the platform party, which includes the chair of our board of trustees, Beth Barton, University of St. Joseph president, Dr. Rona Free, provost, Dr. Michelle Kalis, and our grand marshal, Dorothy Keller, professor of fine arts.
Good evening. I am Dr. Michelle Kalis, Provost of the University of St. Joseph. On behalf of the university community, it is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the university's 84th commencement ceremony. Today, we come together to recognize the remarkable accomplishments of the graduating class of 2019. Now, please remain standing or please stand for the invocation given by Lynette Cologne, Director of Campus Ministry, and for the singing of the national anthem, which will be led by Elizabeth Sears. Elizabeth is graduating with a degree in special education. If we can all please bow our heads. God of mercy and peace, we thank you for another day of life and for the opportunity of celebrating the hard work and sacrifices made by our students. Thank you for the dedication, commitment, love, and support from the faculty, staff, family, and friends who provided support and guidance in the growth and success of this graduating class of 2019. God of mercy and peace, we pray that in celebrating an ending, we also celebrate a beginning of new opportunities, new connections, new paths born from the work and leadership of these graduating students. May we feel your presence as you continue walking with us on our journey. We ask this in your name, amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the much, Elizabeth. Please be seated. In keeping with the significance of this occasion, we ask as a courtesy to the graduates and to those around you that you please silence all cell phones and other electronic devices. While you do that, let me ask you to look around at the variety of academic gowns and the colors of the hoods. These represent hundreds of years of tradition. A description of the differences and what they represent may be found in the program book beginning on page 23. We are pleased to have members of the University of St. Joseph Board of Trustees, including several Sisters of Mercy, Mercy with us today. These community and business leaders volunteer their help to guide USJ so that we can fulfill our mission. Will Chair Beth Barton and the trustees please stand and be recognized. Thank you all for your continuing service and support. Now I would like President Rona Free and the Vice Presidents to please stand and be recognized. Thank you all for your continuing service and support. 
and your leadership of the university. You will meet the University of St. Joseph deans and honored guests later in the program. Now I would like to introduce you to the heart and soul of the institution, the faculty of the University of St. Joseph who have guided and taught our students. I would like the University of St. Joseph faculty and faculty emerita to please stand and be acknowledged for their tireless efforts that you have extended to provide the best possible education for our graduates. Thank you. While faculty are key both in and out of the classroom, there are many others, coaches, assistants, advisors, and other staff members who are always focused on our students' best interests. Will the University of St. Joseph staff members please rise and be recognized? It is now my distinct pleasure to ask Chair of the University of St. Joseph Board of Trustees, Beth Barton, to greet this year's graduates. Good evening, everyone. Graduates, today's commencement ceremony is an opportunity to look back with pride on all you have accomplished during your years at the University of St. Joseph. And it's an opportunity to look ahead with anticipation about the future. But very importantly, today, like every day, is also an opportunity to be in the moment. Don't miss it. You are surrounded by your classmates, some of whom will likely be lifelong friends, your professors who have guided and mentored you, and your family and friends who have supported you throughout your USJ journey, and they are here to celebrate the day and your accomplishments. So be here now. Life is what happens while you're making other plans. Don't let it pass you by. The Sisters of Mercy founded the university with a commitment to create a welcoming community and to offer an education infused with the Mercy values. This commitment is and has been alive and well at USJ. A foundational component of the Mercy values is a sense of responsibility. This includes a responsibility to recognize and respond to society's needs, to give compassionate service to others, and to have respect and reverence for all people. What we hear and read today are often not so civil public discourse, suggests that actions reflective of this responsibility may be in short supply. I urge you to make sure that you are part of, and maybe even create, but in any event, contribute positively to a community. The reality is that others need each and every one of us, and each and every one of us need others. The antidote to loneliness and even despair in challenging times is a sense of community, feeling you are a valued part of a larger whole. I'm confident and very proud that your time at USJ has contributed to your ability to make a difference, to make this positive contribution. Graduates, now it's all up to you to do so. Model compassion and respect for and to those around you. And in the words written by John Lennon and sung by Paul McCartney, in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. On behalf of the University of St. Joseph Board of Trustees, congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Chair Barton. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the graduate student speaker. This year marks the graduation of the inaugural class of students from the Physician Assistant Studies Program. To, 
Today's, today's graduate student speaker is a graduating PA student, Kylie Huang. Kylie is from West Hartford. She earned a BS in Health Sciences from the University of Hartford, and she has now accepted a position at St. Francis Medical Center. Kylie, please come forward and deliver your remarks. Good evening, everybody. First of all, I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to the class of 2019, faculty, administration, and all family and friends who are here today for allowing me the privilege of speaking on behalf of all of the graduate students. When I was asked to speak, I thought, what better way to finish my graduate career than the way I started with an assignment? Jokes aside, this is truly an honor. Congratulations to all students receiving a degree today, to both the full-time students and the part-time students who may have balanced classes with other life responsibilities. Your focus, determination, and sacrifices have all paid off. You have all invested in your education and future and have demonstrated a commitment to bettering yourselves and those around you. You may, in fact, be the first member of your family to receive an advanced degree, and for that, you should be extremely proud of yourselves. Before I go any further, I wanted to give a special shout out to the inaugural class of passionate and well-prepared physician assistants graduating today who will soon be contributing to the medical field and caring for patients from all walks of life. As your peer, I know you will all do great things. I wanted to make this speech short and sweet, so when deciding what to talk to you all about, I recalled something I read recently in the New York Times that I believe speaks volumes to what we should all endeavor for. It said, graduates are exhorted to think big and have noble aspirations. Some may achieve greatly. Let's instead accomplish what is small and meaningful, maintaining dedicated relationships, helping others, and becoming skilled at what we love. There is contentment in accepting our limits and striving to fulfill them. We have all certainly developed the professional skills we need to be contributing members of society. But take a moment to look at the people around you and remember those that have supported you, taught you, and helped you along the way. None of us got here on our own. At the University of St. Joseph, from day one, we are taught the fundamental values of kindness and service to others. No matter which field you ultimately pursue and what path you take next in life, remember that we all have the power and ability to help others in even the smallest ways. We may not all achieve the traditional concept of greatness, but it is the little things that we do on a daily basis that can be the most meaningful. Think of this when you see the patient who is frustrated and fearful, the student who is sitting alone or struggling to finish assignments, or your coworker who comes in with a defeated demeanor or hidden struggles. Take the time to listen, to empathize, and to validate. Hopefully someday when you need it most, someone close to you will do the same. The future may be uncertain, but we can be the good people in this world whose unselfish actions make an impact. I hope that we all leave here today with the confidence to pursue our passions and be great at what we love. As we step forth into the real world, don't forget to lift up the people around you whenever you can. As Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kylie, for your inspiring remarks. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the undergraduate student speaker, Jasmine J. Brown, who is graduating with a BA in English. Jasmine is from East Hartford. To our president, the Honorable 
Dr. Rona Free, Board of Trustees, Department Chairs, Faculty and Staff, and the undergraduate class of 2019. Good evening. This evening, although I stand before you, my fellow scholars, I am standing with you. I am so proud to say that the journey we took on here at the University of St. Joseph, we did it together. Our individual college experience varied in many ways. Nevertheless, we experienced a common journey. We can all attest to the overwhelming anxiety that always, always seems to overtake us during an exam. Likewise, we can all attest to the overwhelming joy we feel when classes are canceled due to inclement weather. Those are facts. In the awesomeness of this moment, today we will be handed our diploma for which we tirelessly work to achieve. You might be a first generation college graduate or one of many college graduates in your family. Whatever your story is, this is a notable accomplishment and one worthy of recognition. Congratulate yourself. I am honored to stand here before you. I am just an average college student. My academic record is filled with marks of high points, low points, and very low points. The weight of shame rested heavily on me in those low moments to the point where it felt like giving up. But I was taught that giving up is never an option. I am transparent about my struggles as I studied because I have learned that it's not about how you start, but it's about how you finish that matters most. You can choose to let your low points either define you or propel you. A few low grades and dips in your GPA didn't define you. Look at what your resilience did. You are sitting here now about to receive your honorary degree. Your character, your willingness to become better than you were yesterday is what matters most. Our time in this institution of excellence has shown us that academic success is possible. Hard work will produce fruits, but I must emphasize to all of us that the way we treat others is graded far higher than any accomplishments we could attain. The world-renowned poet Maya Angelou said, at the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or did. They will remember how you made them feel. As we journey through life, let us remember one of the core values of this institution is respect and integrity. Having become alumni, let us remember that the University of St. Joseph expects us to show respect and reverence for all people. This university was founded on Christian principles. And one most notable in the Bible is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Class of 2019, <laughs> class of 2019, I draw your attention to this scripture because it is one of the most encouraging scriptures that speaks to success. With God on your side, there is nothing that can stop you from succeeding. This is your time, your season, your moment to maximize your potential. Like my pastor, the Honorable Bishop Dr. Lloyd Russell always says, the sky is the limit. Let no one discourage you from pursuing your dreams. They are your dreams for a reason. I must acknowledge the faculty of USJ. The professors at USJ are like none other. I can recall the many times when professors would email me with sincere concern regarding my grades. They go above and beyond to ensure that success is our portion. Along with them, the support of our parents and guardians, spiritual leaders, friends, and many others cannot be overlooked nor taken lightly. So now, life gets real. We walked into this grand auditorium in caps and gowns, and we leave here going on to wear suits and ties, hazmat suits, government official badges, and the list goes on. But for some of us, our next steps are shaky. With so many options, postgraduate education, travel, work, feeling overwhelmed is an understatement. But do not lose hope. For there is light at the end of the tunnel, and you will make it through. Trust the process. 
Trust that you will get to where you need to in due time. Trust that you have what it takes to be great and to make an impact in your community and the world at large. Trust this chapter of your life for your story is still being written. Again, congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you, Jasmine, for your inspiring remarks. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce the University of St. Joseph President, Dr. Rona Free. Good evening, trustees, guests, families, friends, and graduates of the University of St. Joseph. On behalf of the entire university community, especially the St. Joseph faculty and staff, thank you for joining us to honor the class of 2019. Today, in addition to celebrating the students who are graduating, we welcome back the class of 1969 who graduated 50 years ago. Members of the Jubilee class, please stand so that we can recognize you. Graduates, can you imagine what your lives will be like in 50 years? Some of you may come to commencement that year to be part of the Jubilee class and stand with the same friends you are next to now. But will you have brought your spouse or children with you? Will you fly in from California or take the 2069 equivalent of Uber from your home nearby? Will you be retired? or will you be too busy with your accounting practice, working in a hospital, or dealing with clients to get away? Wherever your path takes you in the next 50 years, the degree that you are awarded today will have been a critical element of your future success. Like the degrees earned by all of the students graduating from colleges and universities this May, yours signifies that you have developed skills and gained knowledge, that you are smart and self-motivated, that you possess creativity and persistence. But as a graduate of the University of St. Joseph, your degree conveys even more. A US degree, USJ degree is imbued with our core values and the critical concerns that are the focal points for the Sisters of Mercy. As a University of St. Joseph student, you have been encouraged to be compassionate and respectful, to act with integrity, and to serve others, to welcome differences and cultivate relationships of mutual respect. As you leave the university, whatever you do for work, in your community, and for your family, we hope you take those values with you. I am so honored to share this day with you and your families. Again, on behalf of the University of St. Joseph community, congratulations to the class of 2019. Thank you, Dr. Free. I now have the pleasure of presenting two faculty awards, one for teaching excellence and one for scholarship. The Reverend John J. Stack Award is given to a full-time member of the University of St. Joseph faculty who has demonstrated teaching excellence. The winner of the Stack Award is an associate professor who has been at the university for more than 10 years. She inspires students as she brings history to life in her courses. This year's recipient of the Reverend John Stack Award is Dr. Jennifer Cody. Will Dr. Cody please come forward to accept the award?
The Sister Mary Ellen Faculty Scholarship Award is given to a full-time member of the University of St. Joseph faculty who has demonstrated excellence in the area of scholarship. This year, the Sister Mary Ellen Murphy Scholarship Award is presented to a faculty member who is an excellent scholar and has published an acclaimed book on transgender youth and children. I am pleased to announce the recipient of the Sister Mary Ellen Murphy Award is Dr. Elijah Neely. Will Dr. Neely please come forward to accept your award? It is now my pleasure to introduce today's honored guest, Lynn Rickey. Lynn is President and Chief Executive Officer at Hospital for Special Care and HSC's parent, Center of Special Care, Inc. Hospital for Special Care is one of the nation's largest specialty care hospitals and the only long-term acute care hospital in the U.S. serving both adults and children. Lynn is actively involved in the community, and in 2015, she was named a fellow of the American College of Healthcare Executives, the nation's leading professional society for healthcare leaders. Lynn Rickey, I now invite you to give remarks to the graduates. So good evening, everybody. They didn't tell me that I had to follow Kylie and Jasmine, who did a really great job. So congratulations, ladies. Dr. Free, members of the faculty, distinguished guests, and most importantly, graduates and your families, I am so honored to share this night with all of you and truly humbled to have an opportunity to celebrate the next step in your journey. So who am I and why am I addressing you tonight? As Dr. Fries said, my name is Lynn Rickey and I'm the President and Chief Executive Officer of the Hospital for Special Care. The Hospital for Special Care and the University of St. Joseph share a common goal in helping to shape the future of healthcare by investing in the next generation of professionals, you, who will innovate and lead our industry. Nearly 40 years ago, I was you, and I can still remember the excitement, the anticipation, and the hope that I felt on that warm Sunday in May. Sadly, I can't tell you who the speaker was, nor can I tell you anything that they said. So I hope that while I, I don't expect that you'll remember me 40 years from now, I do hope that you'll take a small part of my message with you. So what do I remember about graduation? I can tell you that my best friend changed the name on her card so she could sit in the same row as her roommate and I. She had to warn her parents in advance that she had in fact met all the requirements of graduation and was going to receive her diploma. Actually, that friend is here with me tonight. We graduated from the Towson State University in 1981. I truly hope that there is somebody here with you tonight that is going to be a significant part of your life 40 years from now. Someone who will help you celebrate every success and learn from every challenge. The theme of my talk tonight is about resilience. Resilience is the ability to recover quickly from difficult conditions. In medical terms, Resilience is the property of a tissue that allows it to resume its former position, shape, or size after being bent, compressed, or otherwise distorted. But to me, resilience is finding the most meaningful lessons in life from some of the most difficult times. As you go out into this complex and exciting world, you will undoubtedly face adversity. I tell you this not to scare you, but to inspire you and to encourage you. Learning how to bounce up 
when you encounter difficult or unexpected obstacles will make you a more humble, a more genuine, and arguably a stronger person. If you recover from failure, you learn something about yourself. You are tougher than you think, and that is how confidence is built. What I've learned through the years in both my career and in my personal experience is that knowing how to bounce up when life knocks you down is one of the most powerful skills that you can possess. One way to enhance this ability is to know and to continuously and rigorously pursue your purpose and your passion. In the immortal words of Nelson Mandela, there is no passion to be found in playing small, in settling for a life that is less than one you are capable of living. Avoiding failure is not the same as winning. If you are never challenged, if you never risk complete and utter failure, you will not grow, you will not learn, and you will not thrive. You cannot bounce up if you never fall down. When I was nine years old, my brother passed away unexpectedly while playing in a high school football team. It was during that time that I witnessed and experienced grief and ultimately healing. Loss pushed me down, but with the support of a loving family, I bounced up. At 24, after just finishing my master's degree and starting a career as a guidance counselor, my first husband was killed in a car accident. Again, loss pushed me down, but in time, my friends, my family, and my work helped me to bounce up. I learned to be vulnerable, to allow myself to grieve, to accept grace, and to ultimately find happiness again. I learned that faith was seeing light with your heart when your eyes saw darkness. It was during that time that I found that having both passion and purpose in my work enriched my life and gave me an unexpected source of strength. I reject the idea that our personal and our professional selves are separate beings. For example, when we care for a patient, the highest indicator of our quality is our ability to deliver patient-centered, holistic care that recognizes the unique strengths and needs of the whole person. Keep that in mind as you pursue your bright future ahead and seek out those opportunities that will enrich your entire life and build your resilience, not just your resume. Many years later, my son Lincoln would teach me more about life and resilience than I can possibly convey to you tonight. Becoming a parent is undoubtedly one of the greatest of life's gifts. My son Lincoln came into this world with a purpose. Lincoln was diagnosed at the age of two and a half with autism. He is also intellectually disabled. Nothing was or is easy for Lincoln. But through his challenges, I have been taught patience, persistence, humility, compassion, and the greatest of all, unconditional love. Lincoln sees life simply. He judges no one, and he offers his smile and his love very quickly. I once thought of autism as a diagnosis that robbed my son of a typical life. But today, because of Lincoln, I see the beauty in his uniqueness, and I know that he is exactly who he was meant to be. The difficult diagnoses of autism and intellectual disability pushed me down, but Lincoln himself helped me to bounce up. I have become a more passionate person, a strong advocate, and a very, very proud parent. Over the course of my career, from guidance counselor to nursing home administrator to the 15 incredible years that I've spent learning from and with my colleagues at the Hospital for Special Care, there have been many opportunities to foster my resilience. By that I mean mistakes, decisions I got wrong, and all-out whoppers of bad judgment. There have also been well-meaning and not so well-meaning folks who did not think I could or should continue to challenge myself. Because I was a widow, because I was a parent of a child with autism, or let's face it, folks, because I am a woman. 
but there have also been outstanding achievements for which I am very proud, and supportive mentors and peers for whom I'm incredibly grateful, not to mention an extremely kind and caring husband who has been my partner all along the way. I have learned from every experience, but it is truly the unexpected bumps in the road that have taught me the most, so I keep bouncing up. And because my work is filled with passion and purpose, it feeds my resiliency. So many people I know see work as drudgery. I can honestly say that I love what I do, and I am very blessed to be able to lead an organization that is committed to both the art and the science of caring. I've also been blessed to have the opportunity to partner with forward-thinking institutions like the University of St. Joseph's to address some of life's most intractable challenges. The collaboration between the University of St. Joseph's and the Hospital for Special Care to create a comprehensive continuum of care and a skilled workforce to deliver effective evidence-based interventions for children and youth impacted by autism spectrum disorder has changed the landscape across Connecticut. Michelle Callis, Rona Free, John Malteny, and so many others have been my partners in creating more opportunities for families who are impacted by autism so that they can get the support and the care they need to help them bounce up when the behaviors and the complications of dealing with autism can push them down. As a CEO at the Hospital for Special Care, I see the strength of the human spirit every day and I am reminded that we must all keep our own challenges in perspective. Many of our patients have devastating illnesses or injuries resulting from a multitude of complex and critical conditions. And each day, I am inspired by their sheer determination, the dedication of their families, and the commitment of the caregivers at their bedside. Brian has ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, a fatal diagnosis and he has lived with that death sentence for more than 10 years. He is 43 years old. He can't walk, and he has limited use of his arms and his hands. But what's Brian doing this week? He's going to Washington, D.C. to lobby Congress for changes in the Social Security Administration so that he can help other patients living with ALS. Brian's 10 and 12-year-old children are by his side, learning how to fight for others at an early age. Gabe, Gabe is a quadriplegic who is ventilator dependent. He shows his artwork that he paints with a mouthbrush in galleries across Connecticut. And last year, Gabe led a workshop at the New, New Britain Museum of American Art for Art Therapist. Allison suffered a massive cardiac event that left her on life support with both brain and spinal cord injuries. During her stay with us, she was weaned from a ventilator and began intensive inpatient rehabilitation. When she was discharged home, she could only take a few steps, but she was determined to rebuild her life. With outpatient therapy and incredible will, she is now driving and focused on raising her children. A rare neuromuscular disorder, a gunshot wound, an unexpected cardiac event push Brian, Gabe, and Allison down. But they choose, and they choose every day, to bounce up. So can you. As you take the next steps on your own unique journey, and as you pursue your purpose and your passion, I hope you find people like Brian, Gabe, and Allison who will inspire you. I urge you to take risk, to challenge yourself, to fall down from time to time. I urge you to surround yourself by people who will push, pull, or otherwise hold you up when you need it. I offer you a quote from Tara Moore, who is a leadership coach and author. No one else is going to build the life you want for you. No one else can even completely understand it. The most amazing souls will show up and cheer you along the way, but this is your game. Make a pact with yourself for the long haul, 
as your own supportive friend at every step along the way. I ask that you invest in your resiliency, that you embrace adversity when it comes your way, that you dream great dreams to change the world, and that you help others do the same. To the class of 2019, congratulations. I wish you all the best. Thank you, Lynn, for your thoughtful address. Now is the moment for which we have come together, the conferring of the degrees from the University of St. Joseph class of 2019. <laughs> candidates, candidates receiving the Doctor of Pharmacy degree from the School of Pharmacy and Physician Assistant Studies, please rise and proceed to the stage to receive your diploma. The candidates will be presented by the Dean of the School of Pharmacy and Physician Assistant Studies, Dr. Joseph Afosu. President Free, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Pharmacy and Physician Assistant Studies, it is my pleasure to present the following candidates for the Doctor of Pharmacy degree. Dean Fosu, upon the recommendation of the faculty and with the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon the candidates their Doctor of Pharmacy degree. Congratulations. Associate Dean Henkel will read the names. Nicole Lynn Abrams. <laughs> Juhi Patel. Ramla Hassan Rizvi. Effie Zanikos. Daniel Lavora. Luis Manuel Lavora. Omatulani Olutomi Adadirin. Christine C. Agudosi. Ernest Agumang. Alan Wahid Armanas. Alexander Scott Duraps. Daniel Robert O'Hara, Jr. Eric Esserifi. Ambrose Mark Finn. Michael Brian Barniak. Rebecca Joan Bush. Liz Calderon. Che Shoyong. Joanna Katsurina Horazzi. Samantha Ann Copeland. Jessica Yvonne Damon. Zara Sakib. Narai Elavulu. Mevlana Hersid. Stella Elmazi. Elizabeth Thang. Olivia Francesca Germano. Carly Ann Giovato. Patrick Charles Filkins. Laura Kashorek. Erica Lee Parks. Nora Fami. Kara Elizabeth Cifarelli. 
Anna Maria Gomes. Tara Lynn Kowalski. Noelle Marie Bianculli. Annalise Tenney. Jessica Yi. Brian Joseph Walker. Christina Petrellis. Daniela D'Aquino. Lena Marie DeVitro. William Taylor Amy. Brandon Alexander Menz. Duck Huang Ho. Vin Lee. Michelle Lee. Laura Elizabeth Wahlberg. Lele Lin. Ashley Akil Dackey. Manpreet Parhar. Priyanka Thacker. Vaishali Patel. Ileana Kristen Figueroa. Abigail Elizabeth Zacco. Emeka Oberibe. Ode Nufan Menwer. Shana Nainan. Mira Phillips. Justine Ann Walicki. Yatish Parmar. Roman Bank Janney. Michelle Catherine Gillette. Tiffany Ebony Ogu. Olawashian Adedepo Oki. Danikia Randolph. Evelina Shedlik. Reshma Natalie Singh. Rachel Elizabeth Tennyson. Naima Ataya Luther. Kristen Odibo. Phoebe Regis.
candidates receiving master's degrees and post-baccalaureate certificates from the School of Interdisciplinary Health and Science, School of Arts, Sciences, Business and Education, and the School of Pharmacy and Physician Assistant Studies, please rise and proceed to the stage to receive your diplomas. The candidates will be presented by Dean Elizabeth Francis Connolly. President Free, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Interdisciplinary Health and Science, the School of the Arts, Science, Business, and Education, and the School of Pharmacy and Physician Assistant Studies, it is my delight to present the following candidates for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Post-Baccalaureate Certificates. Dean Francis Connolly, upon the recommendation of the faculty and with the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon these worthy candidates their respective master's degrees and post-baccalaureate certificates. Congratulations. Dr. Moko, Dr. Reed, and Associate Dean Henkel will read the names. The first master's candidates are from the School of Interdisciplinary Health and science. Melinda Nicole Barnum. Diana Kabir. Kristen Shelby Butler. Amy Elizabeth Cruz. Nicole Marie Pagan. Mertalis Ruberts. Kristen Marie Stack. Daisalee Cruz. Damaris Torres. Ifeinwa Happiness Leonard. Anna Cherian. Cheryl Simons. Laura Lynn Tyler. Megan Jean Platt. Tara Krista Sanabria. Marva Denise Patterson. Takia Daly. Lisette Rodriguez. Danielle R. Russell. Kira Wash Scanelli. <laughs> Vanessa Stefan Colon. Adilsa Incarnacio. <laughs> Taylor Denise Andrews. Michelle Marie Castro. Marissa Denise Desjardins. Andrew P. Knapp. James Kevin Brown, Jr. Winter Marie Schrammick. Noreen Mustafa. Alexandria Victoria Cummings. Hey! 
Keona Shante Smith. Alexandria Marie Yukanovich. Stephen Heredia. Myra Ketsi Maldonado. Ernestine Anoma Nobu. Melissa De Los Santos. Oh, Christina Marie Bolduck. Audie Henry. <laughs> Tiffany A. Oram. Octavia D. Gordon. Michelle G. Watson. Caitlin J. Palermino. Jamila Alicia El Haj Bey. Nadia Janae Bell. Manuel Antonio Sandoval. Mildred Colon. Melissa P. Richardson. Kentrell T. Graham. Sheena Bilan Pastel. Joyce G. Peoples. Erica Sophia Vaz. Janae Cherie Bryant. Obadia J. Mohammed. Tad Derek McLaughlin. Kristen Marie Lipinski. Maria Victoria Perez. Alicia Hallinan Anup. Emily Victoria Seibert. Emily Kate Mysoglan. Sabrina Lucia Aliano. Kristen Leanne Burrington. Violetta Prison. Craig Andrew Hulk. Dorothy Hirilayan. Ashley Victoria Christine Michelis. Emily Maria Chenard. Marissa Nicole Glode. Amy Marie Lajeunesse. Chantelle Ann Morin. Jessica Lee Listorti. Danielle Marie McCarthy. Carolina Nawakowski. Amina Efendich. Heirang Wang. Darcy Ann Rosen. Christy Lee Petrosi. 
Susan Elizabeth Limelin. Eden Corridan. Jessica Crouch Barlow. Rachel Lee Skelton. Danielle Elizabeth Bonsignore. Allison Marie Ponabianco. Nicole Normando. Kamisha Cooper. Nicole Sarah Lapont. Jean Barbara Thaleen. Nancy Bajak. Emily Louise Vigu. Mary Jo Renee Fika. <laughs> Nicole Gentel Crieri. Alexander B. Weberman. Catherine Horlick. Catherine Leigh Dodona. Kelly Ann, Kellen Ann Goldberger. Ashley Nicole Ainsworth. Erica Nicole Martino. Samuel Murray Houslabe. Jonathan Sanchez. Allison Regan. Amanda Rose Warwick. Julie Ann Fiaschetti. Megan Louise Vo. Kizzy Weeks. Brittany Lauren Bird. Jocelyn Tyler Jones. Bianca Christine Carrero. Emily Marie Moradian. Elizabeth Ellen Chiodo. Sydney Elizabeth Kane. Ariana Catherine Wood. Catherine Lee Sayer. Zachary Matthew Iannatelli. Vanessa M. Ortiz. Antonella McClellan Lauren. McLennan. Alyssa Grace Hobson. Nadine Grant. Master's candidates are from the School of Arts, Sciences, Business, and Education. Joseph Antonio Guerrera. Luisa Maria Flores.
Melissa V. Winborn. Julia Nicole Texera. Jean Marie Pike. Kaitlyn Marie Metzak. Courtney Lee Jameson. Michelle Lynn Bennett. Abby Elizabeth Rowe. Amanda Ann Milne. Kimberly Jean Wenberg. Victoria Lynn Becker. Alicia Renee Noss. Allison Davis. Michelle Susan Levesque. Victoria Leslie Chrisunis. Amanda Catherine Bennett. Jessica Savo. Alexis Tejane Hall. Stacy Elizabeth Zambo. Jacqueline Perry Esposito. Tyler Dickens. Samantha Christy Morin. Jeremy Robert McPhee. Allison Olivia Butler. Brianna Erica Brown. Brianna Erica Brown. Yolanda Quinones. Uriah Yvonne Somerville. Heather Marianne Perry. Carly A. Snyder. Erica Lauren Eisenberg. Paulina Joanna Coloda. Brooke Mackenzie Gilbert. Nicole Marie Aquillo. Michelle Turkington. Elise Rose Moshini Lamar. Erin Elizabeth Daly. Marissa Nicole Kudla. Jennifer Rose Abix Kasich. Daniela Cabral. Stephanie Lynn Jakes. Claudia, Claudia Judith Lanza. Devin L. Riley. Brian. 
Bryant Lee Harrell, Jr. And Amul Ambia. Yeah! Elizabeth Rose Schumacher. Ahmed Mohammed Azarani. Bethany Helen Postemski. Nina Olander Merkin. Selena Catherine Conklin. Jessica Ruth Tillo. Anne Helene Masella. Marianne Leinbarger. Nicole Christina Charles. Leticia Cotto. Anna Elisa Gerald. Caitlin Marie Curran. Sarah Ashley Miller. Netta Conchetta Sabino. Ilda Tusha. Anna D. Roman. Zarita J. Jobron. Christina Gallucci. Joseph Salvatore Vernali. Kimberly Rachel DePolis. Lisa Forcelina. Isabella Catalina Matos. Megan Saita. Nicole Cormier. Angelina Teresa Saparito. Brianne Christina Burgundy. Jamie Davies. Margaret Mary Torres. Paul F. Myers. Christopher Patrick Helminski. Jillian Marie Kelly. Chelsea Alexandra Laporte. Devin Nicole Van Patten. Jordan Rose Burrill.
Sherry Wallace McCullough. Nina Marie Keen. Christy Lee Tinarella. Ashley Dean Fowler. Kareen Olisa Gallagher. Erin Deanne Arnold. Brittany Lynn Pakistan. Andrew David Agudello. Patrice E. Gilbert. Allison Beth Kaplan. Gretchen Schultz. Lauren Margaret Fahey. Jamie Marie Narducci. Ashley Lynn Lockwood. Cynthia Ann Drupa. Leslie Palmer. Erin Kathleen Cummins. Mallory Marie Letourneau. Melissa Marie Cancel Baez. Bridget Marie Niels. Aisha Abdulaziz Abubashet. Allah Mohammed Al Zarma. Gufran Mansour Almazrui. Abir Obaid Al Shaid the Second. Layla Hamdan Al Sheri. Anitra Francesca Lynn Ori. Amber Marie Woodward. Jennifer Nolte Freitas. Angelica Saroyce. Francis Valentine. Alexandra Elizabeth Patterson. Elizabeth Ann Dickerson. Sean Melican. Kessia Cunnell. Joanna Petty. John Paul Allen. Melissa Coker Miller.
Erica Feenstra. Amanda Jean Smith. Ernesto J. Davila. Kristen Eileen Fosher. Andrew Paul Zelinsky, Jr. Kelly Aaron Bates. Jennifer Lee Tizzoli. Jeffrey Stazilovich. Jennifer Mary Larson. Caroline Marie Krako. Kenneth D. Estelle Jr. Shannon Mora Dobney. Marissa Michelle Ozark. Amy L. Fink. Rachel Carissa Tati. The next master's candidates are the inaugural graduates from the Physician Assistant Studies Program. In the School of Pharmacy and Physician Assistant Studies. Kelly Bleakley. Alexandra Jo Barini. Kelly Elizabeth Byrne. Chase E. Cinquimani. Lindsay Dockwe. Corey Ryan DiGiacomo. Amelia Flader. Natalie Fry. Allison May Gilbert. Kylie Marie Hoang. Noelle Joy Krause. Nancy B. Kutz. Olivia Leach. Jennifer Cha Lee. Nicole Jane Lyon. Michael Aaron Mayo. Jacqueline Rose Nevue. Kelly Nguyen. Aaron Claire O'Donnell. Nisha Patel. Hannah Schnepp. Lauren Catherine Shaw. Emily Louise Skane. Ashley Shannon Hebert Sloan. 
Nicole Christine Snyder. Benjamin A. Whetstone. The bachelor's, the bachelor's degrees will now be conferred. Graduates at Graduates, at the end of the ceremony, we will have a special time to turn your tassels. For now, they remain on the right-hand side of your mortarboard. Candidates receiving bachelor's degrees from the School of Interdisciplinary Health and Science and the School of Arts, Sciences, Business, and Education, please rise and proceed to the stage to receive your diplomas. The candidates will be presented by Dean Raouf Boulez. President Free, upon the, the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Interdisciplinary Health and Science and the School of Arts, Sciences, Business and Education, it is my pleasure to present the following candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. Dean Boulez, upon the recommendation of the faculty and with the authority invested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon these worthy candidates their respective baccalaureate degrees. Congratulations. Doctors Moko and Reed will read the names. The first bachelor's candidates are from the School of Interdisciplinary Health and Science. Donna Lozado Baker. Kaylee Ann Veach. Juliet Molina. Marissa Irene Reinhardt. Sarah Breeton. Samantha Jo Zioli. Victoria Rose Walls. Alexandra Marie Anderson, cum laude. Shira Rachel Stein. Shira Rachel Stein. Jenna Wong. Anna Nicole Kleiss. Lindsay Ruth Hurlbert. Emily Catherine Sear. Ashley Bang Savino. Madison Leigh Boyce, magna cum laude. Diana R. Dalia, summa cum laude. <laughs> Teresa Anna Picciulo. Christina Dunham, summa cum laude. Sarah Napoli. Emily Rachel Baker. Bag lighter. <laughs> Catherine Milana Piazza.
Dahlia Faoud Robel. Lucy Ann Roberge. Anne Marie Elizabeth Maceda. Alexis Hagenberg. Melanie Shanfro. Ariana Vlashi. Amra Alikavasovic. Natalie Nicole Garcia. Leticia C. Anderson. Brielle Kathleen Butat. Desire Sanchez. Justina Sikorska. Tara Mosini. Jessica Karwalski. Laura Lee Pianca. Alicia Marie Dubay. Riley Page Luba. Amanda Nicole Gent. Stephanie Marie Balgazes. Savannah Kathleen Matchison. Erin Elizabeth Kevani. Jessica Marie Smeriglio. Amanda L. Shea. Allison Francis Crockett. Alisa N. Gandiaga. Catherine Guara. Thais Xavier Ferzi. Rita Ivanov. Deanna Elise Flynn. Leanna Ashley Rauf. Laura Ann Pearson. Aaron Lenore Buckingham. Bailey Lynn Carter. <laughs> Tiffany Nicole Ratajasic. <laughs> Summa cum laude. Jenna Rose Ahrens. <laughs> Ashley Rose Steele. <laughs> Margaret Susan Milton. Sierra Chanel Carter. Sarah Elizabeth Abrams. Danielle Marie Hall. Carolina Concepcion Acosta Fabon. Sydney Lawrence Smith Royer. Gabriella O'Brien. Rachel Lauren Ryan. Mia Gabrielle Tompkins. Ashley Marie Jimenez. 
Gabrielle Nicole Alberino. Shondalyn Chevette Ortiz. Martina S. Schmolk. Carolyn Lindo. Gladys Soledad Anya. John Yashenko. Magna Cum Laude. Charmaine June Arena, Cum Laude. Nordia Brown. Susan C. Pereira, magna cum laude. Shakai Nicole Whitfield. Kano Kafi Elder. Theresha Annette Diaz. Mitchell Kehendi Joby, Jobel. Zena Salman. <laughs> Safia Nadia Ilahi. Tori Michelle Epps. Janae Danella Davis. Ariel Cassandra Outlaw. Jap Jamila P. N. Howes. Amber Rache Chapman. Victoria A. Williams. Kanisha James. Aisha Olivia Morgan. Leanne Ashley Way. Morgan Mackenzie Scully. Megan Amanda Ricky, summa cum laude. Cynthia I. Vega Ortiz. Shayla Alisa Rosado, magna cum laude. Amber Lewis. Anna Chinsky. Jessica Faith Dinklocker, cum laude. Hayden Harley Gleason. Kate Hune, cum laude. Xena Exa, Yahelis Ortiz Santiago Green. Shelby Mehmet, magna cum laude. Diamond Monet Wallen. Deidriana Angelique Jordan, magna cum laude. Lourdes Marie Garcia. Paige Elizabeth Shileski. Teresa Marie Buckley Morawski. De Janae La Princia Castleberry. Adriana La Brea Kelly. Zerelise Marie Jimenez. Tejal Ben Prajapati. Jamalet Sue Claudia. Carrie McDougall. 
Marianne Coda Verdi. Angela Sincoli. Rachel Anna Whitney, summa cum laude. Eileen Carey Lackey. Alexis Grace Buchanan. Rachel Di Benedetto. Bridget Brennan. Stephanie Loretta Brainard. That's it. Going too fast. <laughs> Emma Hutchinson. Gabrielle Irwin, summa cum laude. Anastasia Burns, cum laude. Ermina Udovic, magna cum laude. Christina Nicole Vassallo. Kylie Joan Droney. Jennifer Nicole Coxon, magna cum laude. Nana Abina Damaris Kayem. Jennifer April Sullivan, magna cum laude. Colleen Megan Doyle. Rachel Elizabeth Betts. Carly Adreen Robertson. Eliana Lee Lopez. Jada Alexis Lewis. Emily Louise Bromberg. Michaela Rose Capey. Lena Rose Pelletier. Kelsey Lee Junius, magna cum laude. Kelly Elizabeth Deegan. Amanda Catherine Alvarado. That's it. Oh, do I go? Ashley Michelle Kulesa, Kulisha. Is that my last one? <laughs> the next bachelor's candidates are from the School of Arts, Sciences, Business, and Education. Isabella Rose Russo, magna cum laude. Kara Lynn Klemoszewski. Sarah Ilona Palco, cum laude. Nicole Lynn Higgins. Carly Ruzbasan. Miranda Teresa Williams. Amy Rodriguez.
Victoria Isabel Duke Ferreira, magna cum laude. Amanda Rose Camo, summa cum laude. Amaria Victoria Sharon, summa cum laude. Victoria Lynn Marangola, summa cum laude. Rebecca Alexandrovna Kaimova. Leah Amber Morgan. Crystal DeLeon Estrada. Isabella Jock. Victoria Emily Torres. Ragad Alkatani. Jennifer E. Kappa. Gabriella D. Zyla. Leah Nguyen. Alexa Rose Taylor, magna cum laude. Huda Samakab, summa cum laude. Jessica Lynn Liddy. Mariah Elizabeth Markham. Sakina Abdusalam, summa cum laude. Christelle Bibo Ikodi. Melissa Lucia DeBella, magna cum laude. Brittany Elizabeth Malat. Zamzama Gafar. Francesca Marie Amici, magna cum laude. Hannah Effendi. Sarah Elizabeth Keen. Audrey Alexandra St. George. Tamar Y. Serrano. Adnan Bioglu Al Said, cum laude. Melissa Kate Pizer, summa cum laude. Cameron Lee Kruger, cum laude. Jacqueline Marie Scaraggi. Erica Swickless. Tina Nguyen, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Ashley Sears. <laughs> Mia Hala Christie. <laughs> Qu 
Courtney Nicole Major. Juliet Crosby Homicki. Odette Martine Morin, cum laude. Felicia Yvonne Bryan. Jacqueline A. Brantley. Gianetta Gadson Smith. Jasmine J. Brown. Please join me in one big round of applause for all of our graduates. And now, and now for a symbolic moment, I would like all of our undergraduate degree recipients to stand. Please, please join me in the important tassel flipping ceremony. When I say flip, you may transfer your tassel from the right side of your mortar board to the left side, which signifies you have earned your degree. Now. Flip. Congratulations to the class of 2019. You may be seated. Now that you are officially graduates of the University of St. Joseph, I am pleased to present the president of the University of St. Joseph Alumni Association, Mary Dickerson, from the undergraduate class of 1989. Mary. President Free, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, family, friends, and most importantly, class of 2019 graduates, it is an honor to stand before you today as an alumni of the university and a parent of two University of St. Joseph graduates. I can appreciate what an exciting moment this is for graduates and family members. Over your lifetime, many people will ask you where you went to college. I know you will be proud to answer that you graduated from the University of St. Joseph. Just like those before you, your USJ education has prepared you well to enjoy success and achievement. I am confident you will make a lasting impact in your careers and in your communities. Your degree not only makes you a member of a specific discipline, but it also positions you as an ambassador of this university and the mission and core values it embraces. Additionally, you are now part of the thousands of members of the University of St. Joseph alumni family. Please continue to stay connected to the university. We are looking forward to see what your bright futures hold. Congratulations to you all. Thank you, Mary. Graduates and guests, we will conclude this ceremony with the singing of the University of St. Joseph alma mater. You will find the lyrics on page 26 of the program. It will be sung by Elizabeth Sears and followed, and followed by the benediction delivered by Reverend Emmanuel Ahamadou and then the recessional. 
After the recessional, family and guests may meet their graduate in the main lobby of the XL Center or outside of the building. I offer one final congratulations to the class of 2019. Thank you everyone for attending this evening and enjoy the evening. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all we have given and all we have received to arrive at this moment. We are grateful for the process of parenting, of mentoring, and of letting go. We are also grateful for the productive procrastination, the setbacks, the small victories, the student who wouldn't keep quiet or follow instructions. So with gratitude to the spirit that binds us as a community of University of St. Joseph, may we celebrate with joyful hearts all that has been, all that will be, and all that is. And may God bless us on this commencement day and bless the new journeys that lie ahead. Amen.
just to go out anyway. Oh. <laughs> 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 give them to us. Sure. They, they wanted to get out of there. Yeah. 